Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Um, in the previous video, we dived into how we can apply for the Palm to waitlist. And um, once you get accepted to it, what exactly do you see on your screen? You get introduced to the Maker Suite. We looked at all the features that it provides, such as text prompt, data prompt, chat prompt, the API key for the Palm API, how you can generate it and stuff like that. And uh, we looked at the getting started guide for the uh, Maker Suite. So let's just dive into all the features that Maker Suite actually provides you with. So we'll be starting out by looking at a text prompt. So here you can see uh, we can pass prompts into this. It's just like Bard. You can pass prompts into this one here. And uh, let's just look at what all you can see on the screen. You can save this prompt, give it a, give it a good name. Let's just say trial one and let's click on save and um, once you do this you can select the model that you want you can select all the different different models that you can have here then you can have the temperature temperature is it, it means the amount of accuracy that you want to it you can have the number of outputs and other advanced settings are there as to the output length and different different details such like that and the text preview it will just give you nothing is there here since i have not added a prompt here so it's already telling me write a story about a magic backpack or categorize an apple. So I'll just tell it to write a story about a magic backpack. And once it's done, once you write your prompt here, you can go and click on run here. And in a few seconds, it will give you a response for the prompt that you just passed. here you can see in in just a few seconds it has given you an entire story about a magic backpack you can go to text preview it's telling you what the prompt what's the prompt that you just added here and this is how basically that the text prompt works where you can input some prompt that you want and you can get a response according to the prompt that you have just passed in you can look at summarize a paragraph if i click on that it will tell you to add a paragraph and you can just summarize this paragraph and you can add your paragraph here. So let's just go to, um, let's just search AI. Let's go to artificial intelligence, Wikipedia, and I'm just going to copy this paragraph here and I'm going to go to make a suite and I'm going to tell it to summarize this paragraph for me. And I'm going to tell it to summarize this for me. I'm just going to, oops, I have to just copy some unnecessary things. I'm just going to clear this out. And I'm going to tell it to summarize this for me. I'm going to go ahead and click on run. And here you can see in, in just few seconds, it has summarized the entire paragraph for me. It has told me artificial intelligence is demonstrated by computers and X, Y, Z. So this is how you can pass prompts into the text prompt feature that Maker Suite provides. You can summarize paragraphs. You can make a poem writer out of this you can tell it write a poem about i'm going to clear this out write a, po a poem about let's just say a um sad boy i'm guessing let's just try that shall we let's go ahead and click on run and in a few seconds i think it should give you a cool poem i'm a sad boy sit in my room and cry okay that's kind of sad but yeah just to give you a gist of what it exactly does is you can tell it to do anything you want you just have to structure your prompt in a very cool way and it will give you a response according to the prompt you have and um, you can even save a copy or you can even get the code for this you can get it in javascript json python and then you can run it accordingly you can even open it in your google collab and stuff like that now these are sample prompts what is this button that says go to gallery so if you go to gallery, it shows you a prompt gallery. You can find examples and inspiration of prompts that you want to use in your generative AI application. So if you scroll down here, you can look at different, different prompts that it provides here. And you can sort it out by the three ones that we had previously here in Maker Suite. If I go back here, I don't want to save this one. You have text, data, and chat. If you go here, you can select text. You can filter it according. You have data. You can tell it to give you some data and you can have a chatbot that you can have chat interactions with now that we have understood what the text prompt does let's just explore the other um, prompt types that are provided so let's go to the data prompt one so here you can see um, you can enter your option you can just have, uh, write a prompt here or you can even use the uh, prompts that are available here you can go to gallery so to test your prompt let's write an input uh, generate let's just say student data 
for a uh, medical college let's do that and let's just go ahead and click on run Here you can see it has generated it name usn i think usn must be some id or code for it year of admission gender and you can scroll down here and you you can look at different things that are there here and you can even delete this one you can add prompt to examples you can send some feedback if you don't like something like that so this is basically the data prompt that is there so let's just look at some sample prompts that it provides let's just go to travel agent one let's click on that and it gives you let's just click on run for here It generates you data according to what that is there here so you have data um, stored in this and you can tell it to generate some data that you want let's try another input let's go and add another text example let's just say generate me uh, generate uh, travel locations in new york with budget with a budget and let's just go ahead and click on run or I think both of them will get run, but that's fine. We can just make this one run. So first we have Central Park here, then we have this one, then we have third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and we can see all the different different details that are there. All so right. let's go to the last one that is the chat prompt. So I'm just gonna go here and just save this as a trial data. I'll click on save. I'm gonna go back to my make this one. okay. I'm just going to save. I'll go back to one. And now if you go to my library, you can see there are two of these that are created here. One is for the data prompt and one is for the text prompt. So let's just go ahead and check out the chat prompt one here. Let's go ahead and click on create. So here we are in the chat prompt. So I'm just going to go ahead and just write in here. Hi. And it should respond. Hi, how can I help you today? And I'll just say, hi, I am Aryan. I think you should respond something like, hi audience, nice to meet you. How can I help you today? Um, let's just say, let's just start the conversation by just saying, I am using make a sweet for the first time. It's amazing. And let's see what it responds to that. It's just saying, I'm glad you're enjoying Make a Sweet. It's a powerful tool that can be used for this and that. So XYZ. So this is how we can use a chat prompt. We can interact with it. And you can even write your own prompt examples. You can give your, give what a user can input and you can give something, maybe an output. So if I just say, hi, um, my name is Aryan. So the model's response should be like, hi Aryan, how are you doing? And let's just say the user's response is, uh, what time is it? Maybe something like that. Let's just try and figure it out together. And the time, so I think it should respond. The time is 11.37 p.m., something like that. Oops. So we can go and just ask, what time is it in India? Oops. Uh, the time in India is currently 11.41 IST. So this, I think it works pretty well. Let's just look at some sample prompts that they provide. Let's talk to an alien. Let's chat with an alien. And here you can see being, uh, being an alien that lives on the one of the Jupiter's moon, you can, this is how we can teach the model as to how to respond to different, different questions. So I like to visit you. What should I do? Let's see what it tells us. Since this is an alien that lives on one of the moons of Jupiter, let's see what it responds to this. I'll be honored if you visit Europa. Okay, to get here, you need to take a spaceship. The journey will take several months, but it will be worth it to see the beautiful sights of Europa that has to offer. So this is how we can tell it to respond. And um, I think let's just say, uh, let's just ask it, how far is Jupiter? Let's just see what it responds. So here it gives you a response as to saying Jupiter, okay, so it, it's given a very big response. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. It takes at least 300 here. Okay. Jupiter has 79 known moons. Okay. It's given you, it, it takes about 43 minutes to travel from Jupiter to earth. It takes light about, okay, sorry. It takes, <laughs> it takes light about 43 minutes to travel from Jupiter to earth. So I think it works pretty well. So if you want to create custom chat prompts for people, 
you can give it prompt examples here as to what your prompt does and uh, what you wanted to respond to so this is how we can use it to you know use the chat prompt in make a suite now let's say you want the code for this you can go to the get code up here you can see it in python and this is how you can copy it or if you want it in javascript you can have the code here available you can copy it or you can do you can even open it in your google collab if it is a python file so this is basically a short description of us exploring the um, uh, mega suite in short how we can use the chat prompt the uh, data prompt and the text prompt so this was just a short description as to how we can use uh, mega suites three very different prompt types as to getting started with with working with the palm api text prompt data prompt and chat prompt so these are basically for non programmers and stuff like that where you can tell it to uh, you can design your own chatbot here using the chat prompt and you can get the code you can copy it and stuff like that and for programmers you always have the api key here and if i go to my library now okay i did not save the chat one but if you save it you can have it here successfully and in the next video we will be exploring um, or we'll be extending the capabilities of the palm api with google app script where we'll be going to our api key here and we'll be generating our own api key and how we'll be using it with google app script to you know pass prompts from your google app script editor and receiving responses in that so i'll see you in the next one